Hello, year one students of the Amaria Integrated Cluster. Welcome back to our channel. I am Ms. Maria Ale, and we are going to continue Unit 12 under the title What's the Matter? And this is the last part of the unit. And after we finish this video, we are going to begin our revision of our curriculum. We are going to begin with technical English, and then we are going to get through general English. So let's start together. So let's begin with the warm up, like we used to do in the last videos. So we are going to give helpful advice to different people. All right. So I'm going to show you pictures of these people and they are saying something and we are going to try to give them helpful advice. Let's start. So we have this woman and she say, I don't have any energy. I know I need to exercise, but I don't like sports. So what advice we can give this person? So this person needs other source than exercising and working out to give her energy. What do you think? You can pause the video if you like, if you would like to think uh, or to give you time more to think, all right? So you can pause and play the video again. So what do you think? What do you think, guys? All right, we can say to her, eat good breakfast in the morning. So if you eat good breakfast, this gives you, this gives you energy through the whole day. Okay, I need you to think of another advice from your own imagination or from your own thoughts. Okay, let's move on to the next person. This person say, my job is very stressful. I usually work 10 hours a day and on weekends. So, how can we give him helpful advice? We can say more than one advice. So we need to say to him something to make him more relaxed. Okay, let's see. We can say, listen to relaxing music. If you listen to a relaxing music, it gives you more, give, makes you less stressful. Okay, we can also say, try to sleep eight hours a day so to give him energy through the day he can sleep well uh, uh, not less than eight hours to give him energy okay let's move on to the next page so let's see this person say i can never get up on time in the morning i'm always late for school so, what do you think the advice that we can give him? We need to say something to make him wake up early. What do you think we can say to him? All right, we can say, don't drink a lot of caffeine to sleep well at night because if you drink a lot of coffee and a lot of tea this will prevent you from sleeping well at night and we can give him another advice, advice here <clears throat> we can say try to sleep early if you sleep early you will wake up early okay let's move on to the next one this person say I am, a, I am new in town and I don't know any people here. How can I make some friends? Alright, so this girl need to meet new people. How can we help her or give her advice? Okay. Let's see 
we can say invite people out in a cafe she can invite people out in a cafe to meet them and introduce her uh, to them and get to know them better okay what else we can say let's see we can also say be nice to people so if you if you are nice to people this will make you meet new friends and make a lot of friends around you all right let's move on to the next slide we are going now to get through the reading part the text that's at the last part of the unit but first I'm going to give you a pre-reading question can you tell me how can you improve your health what are the ways that we can do in order to improve our health try to think what are the things that you do already in your day to improve your health try to write as much as you can remember or as much as you can uh, write of ways to improve your health give yourself time you can pause the video as you know and then move on to the next slide after getting through the pre-reading question which was how can you improve your health now let's move to the definitions or the hardware that you can find in the text while reading so choose the right definition we have improve believe it or not this is a phrase challenge your brain gum okay these are the words we need to choose the right definition and our definitions are make you think harder the area around the teeth make better it's a phrase used to introduce something surprising so, what do you think? Improve. What's the meaning of improve? Yes, it's make you better or make better. Okay, number two. Number two, believe it or not. What's the definition or what's the meaning of believe it or not? You are correct again. It's a phrase used to introduce something surprising. That's great. Three, challenge your brain. Challenge your brain means... make you think harder to challenge your brain it means you make you think harder you think more all right gum it's the last one gum is the area around the teeth okay and i have a picture for the gum so as you can see here the area around the teeth here is the gum all right okay so now let's see the text together and read it together so this is our text this is our reading part with the title 10 simple ways to improve your health we got through the pre-reading question and we got through the definitions or the hard definition that you can find in the text okay now I need you to listen to the audio that talks about the ways or the 10 simple ways to improve our health and then we are going to do some exercises to 
see if we understand it or not. So let's listen now to the audio. Page 83, exercise 12, reading. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 very simple ways. One, eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Two, go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. Three, floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Four, drink eight glasses of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Five, stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Six, get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Seven, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Eight, take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. Nine, wear a seatbelt. Every year, seatbelts save thousands of lives. 10. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. So let's sum up what we just heard. So one, eat breakfast. Two, go for a walk. Three, floss your teeth. Four, drink eight glasses of water every day. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. 6. Get enough calcium. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. 8. Take a time out. A break for about 20 minutes. 9. Wear a seat belt. 10. Protect your skin. These are 10 simple ways to improve your health. Alright? So let's now move on to the exercise part. So we have read the article, now let's move to the exercise part. Complete the sentences. 1. To get exercise, go for a walk. So as you can see, number 1 is answered. 2. To help your bones, what we can do to help our bones. 3. To help your muscles, we need to do what to help our muscles. 4. To keep your gums healthy. 5. To have energy for the morning. 6. To challenge your brain. So, according to the text, what do you think? What we can do? To help your bones. Yes, get enough calcium from dairy products. Great. 3. To help your muscles, think, think carefully. To help your muscles, stretch for five minutes. That's great. Four, to keep your gums healthy. What we can do to keep our gums healthy. Great, floss your teeth. Five, to have energy for the morning. You are right again. Eat breakfast. Six, to challenge your brain. Do a crossword or a puzzle. Okay, I'm going to see now the answers these are our answers and that's it for our video today we are finished alhamdulillah our curriculum our english course curriculum and from next videos we are going to begin our revision i hope you are going to be well see you inshallah next time and goodbye